something happens, and so Dave is unable to take care of the chipmunks uh, like he normally does, and so I, I'm and I'm not even the, like the second runner up. Like there's somebody else, and then that something happens to them, and so I end up being the kind of um, uh, the third, the, the person who now has to take care of, uh, I'm the caretaker, the, or lack thereof. I don't really take care of them very well. I kind of am just doing my own thing, playing video games in Dave's room, and they're living their life. And then, um, you know, but, but Toby learns valuable lessons through the chipmunks and sees their kind of family dynamic and how much they love each other and are there for one another. And they're going through their own struggles, you know, high school and, or school. I mean, we don't call it high school, but, you know, there's a football team. I would imagine it's high school. Um, and, uh, you know, and so, uh, and then Toby's kind of watching all this happen and kind of faces his own struggles and fears as he sees the other chipmunks do. And yeah, so my inner chipmunk gets healed. You know, Alvin, uh, especially, I think the first movie really got to his head and it's too bad because you see young talent like that and you just want to, um, no, yeah, inanimate objects are difficult to, um, extrapolate emotion from. Uh, but fortunately I think I'm a little crazy, so I'm able to kind of apply that to the stuffed animals, I think. Uh, and then and then I just see things in thin air anyway. Um, it's probably from all my video game playing, and therefore it makes it easier to, you know, kind of act with them in a scene when they're not really there. You know, I mean, it's, you know, furry, cute things. I mean, that's what people dig. Uh, that's why everybody loves puppies and kittens, and then as soon as they grow up, they're like, eh. Um, you know, but these guys stay this big for their whole life and uh, always getting into hijinks, Alvin. Um, <laughs> Simon's always responsible. I always feel bad for Simon because Simon's like, no, I'm doing this by the book. Like I was told not to go in that room. I'm not going in that room. And then Alvin drags everybody into trouble. But he's the star. Interesting. Interesting. Um, the responsible one doesn't get top billing. And I think that's a little messed up. They all kind of embody a bit that is, you know, um, admirable. I mean, Theo's got the heart. He just loves everybody, including food, loves food. Uh, Simon is the brains of the outfit, very responsible. I really respect that about him, um, but he can be a bit of a, he can be a bit of a stick in the mud, you know, when it comes to the fun. Alvin's the fun. That's why everybody loves Alvin the most, I would say. You know, because he's the most fun. I mean, it's a hugely successful franchise and has been that since it's, you know, conception, I guess. Conception? Inception? Conception? Conception. Uh, in 1958. And, um, you know, and I grew up with the chipmunks. I guess everybody's kind of grown up with the chipmunks in one iteration or another. And, um, and the first movie did very well. And uh, I'm a firm believer in, you know, making entertainment that, the whole family can appreciate and enjoy because I think that's you know probably the most successful, uh, most successful business model you can follow, and that's what the first one did, and that's what all the all the chipmunk stuff has do, you know done pretty much, and so to be a part of that kind of you know um, family now, the franchise uh, is very cool.